Welcome back, and thank you for, for joining me on this buyer education series. I hope you're enjoying this and it's providing a lot of value for you. Today, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about home valuations and the difference between a computer-generated home valuation and one done by a realtor. Zillow, as you know, is a great site, and so many other sites that are out there provide a lot of value and provide a purpose. One thing I wanna make you aware of with Zillow is that on, on many real estate news sites that I track, um, they say that Zillow's median error rate or their percentage of, of how far off they are from what is accurate with their Zestimate or their home valuation is around 8% on average throughout the country. However, it can get all the way up to 26% in some markets. And so this all depends on if they are connected and they have a live feed to the MLS in their MLS board in the market which they, they're, they're marketing these homes in. And so in our market currently in the Denver metro area, Zillow is not currently connected with the MLS. But a year and a half ago, they, they became disconnected. And so right when that happened, we saw more homes were, were inaccurate and also the status of homes was inaccurate. When, when, when people that were shopping online for homes thought that a home was active, a lot of times it wasn't, it had sold two months ago. Another thing to keep in mind is that most home valuation sites online are pulling their information from the assessor's office. And the assessor tends to be about 18 months behind on that information. And so for the most up-to-date information, I recommend calling a real estate professional, someone that has more information and that can look on a very personal level at, at what the comparables are saying and what, what is else is going on in, in the area, all the other intangibles of, of that home and give you an accurate value. Just so you know, I do that for all of my clients on an annual basis. So if, if you do have a need for a market analysis and would like me to do that, I'm happy to do that for free. Thanks for joining me today. Please stay tuned for our next video that will be about what to look for in a home, an area, or schools as you're starting this home search.